everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I have a guest with me. Hello. This is Anna, she's from the Mixed Makeup team and she's also essentially just family. She's been with me, I don't know, for like eight, nine years at this point. We're, we're actually going on our 10 years oh, season. Oh, excuse me, 10 years <laughs> together. So at this point, we know each other really well. Today we're gonna look at her wedding registry and maybe, maybe roast it, but really we're gonna learn some tips, I guess. We're gonna share some tips about creating a wedding registry. Feeling very self-conscious right now. <laughs> All right, so before we open up the computer, let's talk a little bit about what you were thinking, that mind space of your wedding registry. So my registry is on Zola. It's just easy because it's all in one place, like managing RSVPs, your wedding website. It's just easy. So they have these little things that are like, help us save for our house, our honeymoon, our plane tickets and stuff like that. So initially I was just gonna put those up there because we've been living together for three and a half years at this point. We have a lot of stuff and I'm like very much like, I love kitchen gadgets. So I have a lot of Lots. the stuff. Like I have like the stand mixer. We have a pretty nice blender. I was like, we don't really need any of that stuff. But then I guess as I sat with it and was just thinking, well, maybe people will want to buy something. So there's a little bit, I guess, fancier things than we have right when than we currently have right so for a second there we like didn't even have a registry and then i started to realize like as we were getting closer and closer to the wedding i kept getting messages from people like text messages emails like do you guys have a registry even people who weren't mm -hmm. invited but that were like fringe friends or like co-workers and stuff that weren't yeah. necessarily invited but you're still like friendly with and stuff and they're really cool people mm -hmm. they'd be like do you have a registry i want to send you something yeah if anything it, it like takes away the awkwardness of being like you don't have have to buy us anything because yeah. you want to say that but it starts to feel awkward it becomes that like strange conversation yeah. where they're like but i want to get you something and you're like yeah. no, you don't need to get me something and then it's like oh <laughs> yeah. gosh or you can just send them a link yeah here's my registry well here's the registry like oh we're registered on x y and z yeah. like that kind of thing even yeah. if you tell them they don't need to get you anything they still feel yeah. this need to like i would never show up empty-handed with you and you say absolutely no gifts I'd be like, well, I'm gonna show up the gift anyway, sorry. Molly's like, no <laughs> gifts. So anyway, let's look at, let's take a look at your wedding registry. Okay. All right, so we have the computer open. Okay, so first off, I just wanted to tell you guys a couple of things. So I'm really fascinated by Zola. Zola mm -hmm. is just an all around destination. Like that's where you put your wedding. Yeah, it's just a wedding all invitation, all wedding. that kind of stuff. You can find vendors through it with reviews. Like I feel like it's actually a very, very good tool. Like you can order even like invites and stuff through them. And we were looking if they take a percentage or something, mm -hmm. but it seems like it's only like a credit card transactional fee yeah. that they're charging. So like people can give you cash gifts and then they just charge like the fee, but your guests can choose to pay that or not. Mm, that's so, interesting. Yeah, so okay. like, I think they tell the guests and then they can yeah. choose to. So let's start getting into the tips, all right? Mm -hmm. So one, I think Zola is like a really interesting tip. She did say though that, and this is just something to keep in mind, I'm not even saying this is a bad thing, it's mm -hmm. just something to know, is that she returned something. She realized she had two items on her registry mm -hmm. and she returned one of them and Zola gave her a credit, but you still have to use it through Zola. Like mm -hmm. you can't go to a retailer and then right. eventually get it. So yeah. that's something to keep in mind. Another tip though is, I do think this is the chance to put kitchen, home goods, any of the expensive stuff that you wouldn't normally buy. Like if you were eyeing the name brand, like the Dyson vacuum versus right. like the shark one, you know, like that kind of thing. Like you definitely get the shark one if it's your own budget, but you put the Dyson one on your registry. I think this is yeah. definitely the opportunity and to I, do that. And I think too, like, I don't know if it's like past being modern, but I feel like more couples nowadays live together together for a while before they get married. And so usually you have all of the stuff you need, but I guess this is just the time to upgrade everything. If you're buying a house, especially, I feel like this is that time, or maybe like you're moving into a bigger home together, mm -hmm. that, that kind of thing too. It, like it doesn't seem like it. And you keep saying this to me, like, well, we don't need like these nice things, like place hold, like place sets and stuff. And you know, like nice wine glasses. Cause this is stuff that we've talked about on the side. I'll like break a glass by looking at it. So that's, my thing, like I'm all for expensive stuff, but I know I will break it. Yeah, <laughs> but Arun's the same way. And in fact, now that we do use our nice wine glasses, he's broken like four and then mm -hmm. replaced them. There's a mentality that starts to kick in after you get married. It might not be right away. And it wasn't I'll stop right breaking away for stuff. us. No, it's not that you won't start, <laughs> stop breaking stuff. It's that suddenly like these little things start to become important to you. Like 
like what you have in your home. Again, like mm -hmm. you start to be like, well, do I want the, the shark vacuum or the Dyson vacuum? You know, like I want the Dyson. Yeah. So that's, that's <laughs> kind of where, yeah. you know, this is one of those opportunities. Obviously you want different price points right. too. Yeah. That's actually what I was telling Susan too, that I liked about Zola is that they kind of have like a tracker where it tells you, you should have this many of this price point. And then it kind of like, it's almost like a goal thing. Like it tells you, you fulfilled this price point. So I, I like that it kind of has like helpful suggestions. Yeah, for, for sure. Stuff. There's an option too. Like if something's really expensive, you can make it a group gift so people can like contribute towards it. So it doesn't oh. feel like one person has to buy you the $500 vacuum. Like you could make it a group gift. Oh, too. I like that concept. Yeah. That's I, know, cute. I really feel like Zola should be sponsoring this video <laughs> because I'm really talking them up. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely interesting. Yeah. We had, I think for us, we were registered on the knot and we used the knot to do all the same kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But this sounds like it's way more advanced. Yeah. Way, yeah, way more things, have, things have changed since you got married. So let's talk about actual items. So yeah. definitely kitchen items. Mm -hmm. I've said this before, expensive knives. Like this is oh, the yeah. time to get expensive knives. It really is. It's it's going to change the game for you in the kitchen. That's probably one of the first like items that I added to my registry. Mm -hmm. It's like need some good knives. Yeah. If you don't have a really nice coffee machine and mm -hmm. you're a coffee drinker, which I know you're not, but I'm not. if you are a coffee drinker, this is the time. But also, you know, like you said that Carly from our team got you a frother. Mm -hmm. she, she's a matcha latte drinker. Oh, yeah. So yeah. And one of my uncles got us an espresso machine and it's way more useful to me than I thought. Like I can use it to get hot water for my tea. I can use it to froth milk too, if I want to. So I thought it was purely going to be something that Will would like, but I'm actually pretty enjoying it too. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay. So up at the top, Daily Bread Soup Kitchen. So if people want to make a donation mm -hmm. in your name. Yeah, so that's Will's mom. She helps run a soup kitchen in his hometown. So I put that there because I felt like that would be like a really that's kind of a cute. special thing. Yeah, it's a really great place. So, mm -hmm. okay, so that means that you can add any nonprofit that you want. So they have these like featured funds and stuff that you can just create. So like, I think I just took like a blank one and filled all that in. It tells you like the category. So I'm hoping at the end of this, I'll be able to, it'll, tell you what category people donated to. Got it. So we'll okay. see. <laughs> got it. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So then you've got round trip plane tickets. That's a great one. You know that you're going to go travel yeah. when you get married, period. Yeah. Even if it's not for your honeymoon, even if you had your honeymoon planned out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honeymoon accommodations. Mm -hmm. That's a good one also. And then home down payment. I actually think that's a great one because yeah. a lot of the time, I know I felt like this, like we were debating wedding or home down payment. So we've got a smeg. What a terrible brand name. It's Smig. awful. <laughs> but the stuff All looks the stuff so is nice. really cute. Yeah. Smeg Matte Electric Kettle. That's cute. Yeah. Okay. And I, I only actually originally was like, that seems like kind of a ridiculous price to me. But one of my friends like insisted on buying me a Smeg toaster. I think it was just like a pre-wedding gift. So then I was just like, well, I guess I want stuff to match. So then I added some more Smeg stuff to my registry. Smeg. <laughs> Smeg. I see you have a wine fridge on here. I actually think that's a great one yeah, too. That, because I was really excited about that. Yeah, one. wine, <laughs> all the cookie stuff. Mm -hmm. I like it, I like it. The knives are on there. Okay, okay you do have some of the nice wine glasses. Yeah. Okay, I, I like, like this. A, a champagne coupe. Yeah, definitely get brands, like well-known brands, mm -hmm. I think, especially if you know you're gonna break glasses and stuff, you wanna be able to replace them over time. Right. So that's a big deal. Yeah. You also have the bedding sets, mm -hmm. which is so smart mm -hmm. and not something I actually thought about. It's something I thought about after. Mm -hmm. And I think that really happens a lot where you go like, oh, in hindsight, should've. we should have done this. And that is definitely something because again, you move in together, even if you've been living together, you're kind of like, oh, I wanna, make our room look nicer now, more adults. Like mm -hmm. now we're adulting. I think that's the mental thing that happens. I mean, I feel like I've experienced that just in, in the past year. I think moving into our, I guess, new apartment, we've been there a year, but we moved in the last year. And I just feel like it's my first like space where I feel like truly an adult. Like I feel like we did upgrade a lot of our stuff when we moved. So I've kind of been in that phase of making things look nicer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And bedding is one of those for yeah. sure, where you're suddenly like, all right, these TJ Maxx or home goods sheets that I purchased, mm -hmm. like no longer are, are doing it for me, especially cause it's like not matching all the stuff that you have. Mm -hmm. It's like, you just suddenly are like, I want to get an actual set. So this is a great one. Yeah. I see you've got like Brooke linen. This one's funny. <laughs> the outdoor lo low love seat. <laughs> well, we like to go to outdoor movies, you know? Okay, I thought that sense. that would be kind of fun. <laughs> it's so cute. It's very specific. Yeah. And obviously you should be putting these things 
things on that are like, uh, we don't need it, yeah. but this would be I fun to have. have some fun stuff. And we also did like Framebridge is one of those places that like prints things and frames them for you. You could add that to your registry. And I've used that company before for gifts, so I thought it would be nice we could frame a big wedding photo. Getting into the weird stuff. You, you know that I have to point out some of these. <laughs> this is the Chefin Slicer, one-handed <laughs> cheese slicer. Who needs a one-handed cheese slicer? You know, sometimes your hands are full. <laughs> I might need to be scrolling Instagram and slicing Slice cheese. cheese. I don't know, I thought it looked fun. Uh, dog gear. Isn't that so cute? It's what like is little, that? It's like a dog weekender bag. So it has all the like little compartments and you can like fold it out and it's like a little tray. I don't know. I They're thought really it was random cute. Things. Oh my God, you're already getting a wagon. I didn't get one of these until the last year as well, a mom. Actually back to the, we like to go to outdoor movies. I'm always jealous of the people who like have a little folding wagon. Because oh. you can bring all your stuff. You don't have to like lug everything. You can put it in the wagon. That makes sense, but you could also borrow our wagon. It's true, but why would I do that when I can register for it? I love it. I love it. You have zesters on there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Zesters are something that I think people yeah. like really overlook when it comes to kitchen stuff. You know, there's been so, this is like, I guess not important, but there's been so many times I've almost bought a new zester. And I'm just like, this is the time. This is Connecticut the time. Zester. This is see, this is what you put on your registry. The yeah. things that you've definitely considered, but you're like, oh, I, I don't, don't need, need it. it. Yeah. yeah. I still have my IKEA one. It mm -hmm. works. Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah. Vitamix, great one. Yeah. Dyson vacuum is on there. Mm -hmm. I love it. And these are all things that people have already purchased. Okay. Too. All right, so you can also see what people have purchased. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about also something that I think people don't consider. A lot of the time people get really stressed out about what they're putting on the registry. Mm -hmm. So I'm obviously teasing her about having these weird random things, but at the end of the day, you can always just have these things on there because it's just about somebody buying it for you, mm -hmm. but they won't necessarily know if you return it. Yeah. So, or I mean, usually <laughs> they don't. And the good news about that is if you know, like let's say you're actually currently looking to buy a house together, but you haven't necessarily found the house mm -hmm. yet and stuff, you could technically return this stuff if you're feeling like you don't need it just yet, mm -hmm. but you're gonna want it for your new house or something like that. Then you can always just like return these things, get a credit, get a gift card, mm -hmm. whatever, and then eventually go and get that stuff. Because what I found, like you would think that people would be interested in giving you gift cards, but I think it comes back to they want to give you like an actual gift. Yeah, they There's want to wrap psychological. It. Yeah. yeah. What were some of the things that you were really glad you had on your registry? All right. So the number one thing that I think we used the most was and still is our toaster oven. Hmm. So toaster oven for sure. Mm -hmm. Definitely the sharp knives. Mm -hmm. We still, again, we still use our Japanese knives mm -hmm. that we that we got from our wedding registry years ago. Yeah, I'm very excited about the knives. I think I'm the most excited about the knives. Yeah, it's life changing. Mm -hmm. You start thinking back on days mm -hmm. when you were like sweating, trying to like chop something up like a yeah. vegetable or something. And then you get one of these knives and you're like, oh, I mean, obviously watch your fingers, yeah, but you yeah. can just be like, Ch -ch 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 -ch. and you're like, that's how they do it on TV. I know, it's like, wow, you don't have to work that hard to cut things. Exactly. <laughs> Definitely get the sharpener though. That's mm -hmm. a smart thing because they do need to be sharpened constantly. Yeah. Wine glasses, like I said, we got really expensive wine glasses. They're like crystal, like they're the ones that make that perfect sound when you, when you cheers, mm -hmm. they're like, Right. Maybe, like maybe I'll rate. add some. Yeah, they're very, very nice. Gonna break them. <laughs> they <laughs> sat in boxes, like I said, for two years. We still continue to use our IKEA <laughs> champagne flutes and wine glasses for like a couple of years because we were like afraid to open them up. Mm -hmm. And then one day we were like, what are we waiting for? Like, why haven't we started using them? Your wine suddenly seems like it's almost like a better experience. Like yeah. you can't have a nice wine. I just feel like it's gonna become like a spiral where like, well, I have nice, Wine glasses, so I better get really nice wine. It is a and then spiral. Like, well, then I better get but I'm nicer telling you, glasses. But I'm telling you, this is the adulting <laughs> psychology. Yeah. Like, you get married, and then if you don't want to just hop into having kids immediately, you start going into this like psychological spiral where you're like, we're adults now, we're married. Mm -hmm. So what do we do next? We definitely want to travel. What else do we do together so that we don't like just get bored of each other? Yeah. This is like real stuff. I, people might be like, well, if you love each other. You know, you're gonna, no, it's, this isn't real life. You need life. The stuff. You need, you need like <laughs> things together. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you yeah. need Which is why we have stuff. like, you know, the little outdoor picnic stuff. I like, like that. The, the doggy 
doggy weekender bag. I like that. Somebody got us a Nespresso machine, mm. which was a little bit of a, like a newer thing back then, mm -hmm. but it definitely was a game changer for us. We used that yeah. so much in the beginning. Like we used yeah. it for years. It was one of our most used gifts for yeah. sure. Well, we have an espresso machine. So espresso. Not, not with like the little pods and stuff. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that'll be good, but Will's really using it. Yep. <laughs> He's uh, very into it. I, so. I love it. I love yeah. it. The expensive vacuum. We mm -hmm. did. We did definitely get that. And that was such a game changer. The Dyson. Mm -hmm. We actually kept our Dyson vacuum for a very long time. And then it got run over because we had it charging in the garage. Mm -hmm. And then somebody took it off and left it on the ground. Anyway, but uh, so we did end up getting though another Dyson vacuum mm -hmm. because we loved it so much. What about like plates and stuff? I, this is actually a recent addition that I added. I added like nicer plate sets. I think the nicer plate sets are a good idea. Mm -hmm. We did not do it, but I do regret it because it is something that we ended up buying ourselves later. Yeah. But I think that goes back to like, you know, I think people get kind of caught up in, well, if it's like plate sets, what if I don't know what color I want or what yeah. brand I want and stuff? So I went with white. Yeah, I mean, and that's smart, <laughs> but go for more than you would think. So I have one set of everything right now and I've been thinking I should probably Yeah, because if you only get set, four. Also to account for us breaking them. Exactly, <laughs> like if you only get four plates or four place settings mm -hmm. and stuff, then you're limiting yourself to just that. Right. Right, like unless you're just gonna like piecemeal it like with when people come over and stuff. It's things that don't really matter at the end of the day, but. Yeah. It, does. it brings you joy it, exactly. to have nicer things and to have things that match. Yeah. As far as like the experiences and all that stuff, it was starting to become a thing when I was getting married that you could, there were like separate websites mm -hmm. where you could, you know, like have like, an experience Like Honey and stuff. Fund, I think. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, there were those kinds of things, but we decided at the time not to do it because it felt very limiting too. Mm -hmm. Like even having like somebody give you gift cards, then you're like limited to those airlines, for instance, right? right? Yeah. Which chances are you're gonna use them. Yeah. But if you like decide that you wanna go on a trip to, like to the most random place, right. you might get stuck with like, well, I don't have, you know, yeah. like the- And I picked, I think you can pick from like almost every airline. Then I picked airlines that I knew we fly a lot. Yeah. So that was kind of my thought process. Yeah. I just thought it sounded cool. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I guess like for me, it felt like, Still limiting though, because mm -hmm. like, you know that these airlines like Delta or United and stuff end up having some of, sometimes like the most expensive flights, right? Yeah. So then you're like, okay, they, you've got like a total of $300 given to you for this, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, I, I feel the need to have to use this, mm -hmm. but you could have actually just gotten a flight that was $200 from a whole other airline, but now you're gonna go with the $500 one. Yeah, that's at, fair. Because you like need to use your $300 gift certificate and then you still end up spending $200 of your own yeah. money. So like this stuff felt very like limiting to me, but yeah. at the same same time. I just I, put it in there for variety. Yeah, like you still, like I still think it's like a better situation than when we were getting married mm -hmm. and the options that we had. Cause it was, it was almost like limited. Like they almost felt like they were their own like travel companies, mm -hmm. you know? So like yeah. you were kind of limited to their stuff. Okay. What are some things that you wish you had on there? Well, we were being really modest because it was a last minute registry that we put together. I honestly, the biggest regret is that we didn't just put together a well thought out mm -hmm. registry in the first place and yeah. that we scrambled to create one. Yeah, like I've had, I've had a, a lot of time to think about mine and it's, <laughs> it's very much evolved. <laughs> Which is actually something smart. That's actually yeah. a tip is, you know, like as you add things, they might sell out or something or go yeah. out of stock. Mm -hmm. So you should definitely keep checking your reg registry, your registry, your, your registry and make sure that you're updating. That's yeah. for sure. And if you start to like find more brands and stuff mm -hmm. and you find that you have more time to do more research, yeah. obviously update. Well, and things like pop into your head, like one day I'll be like, you know what? An ice cream machine would be really nice today. <laughs> and so I can go to my registry and add it. Yeah, I think the things that I regret not adding, the expensive luggage that people definitely suggested, mm -hmm. bedding, I really wish I would have like put all the bedding because I did eventually buy really nice like linen bedding mm -hmm. that cost a lot of money and we still use to this day. Mm -hmm. I bought it like eight years ago Yeah, and we still use it. Yeah. It's great. Oh, towels, matching towels. Mm -hmm. I still, 10 years later, have not purchased like true matching towel sets. Like every, t all the towels that we have, I've gotten off of like Amazon or Home Goods mm -hmm. or, and now we've got this collection of mismatched mm -hmm. towels. I have a wide variety of towels. Wide variety. <laughs> and I, now I'm like, well, that's one of those moments in my adulting life where I'm yeah. like, I really have to pull this together. Is that just like something that just happens? Because I know my own parents have tons of mismatched towels. But imagine if somebody like, like bought you a really nice towel set, matching yeah. towel set. You might be more inclined to just 
continue matching. Yeah. So Donate that's, the that's, other towels. Yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> use them for other reasons, but not for, like we have some towels that have become like Mason Pearson towels, like our dog's towels, for instance, when mm -hmm. it rains outside or when we bathe him. Mm -hmm. I think also like as a person who has attended many a weddings in my day now at this mm -hmm. point. When looking at these registries, I actually would not put any of those experiences on here. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly because you, like if you're a person who's looking at someone's registry and you're like, I wanna contribute to their honeymoon or mm -hmm. something like that, or like your home down payment or mm -hmm. something like that, then I think you should just show up with cash in hand. Yeah. Like in hand over like an envelope and that says like, congrats with the card, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. I feel like a lot of it is maybe for people who like can't attend our wedding, then that's an easy way for them to send us something. Yeah, I don't know. that makes sense. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. You can find Anna on Instagram. At Anna Frixell. And I'm on Instagram too, at Susan Yara. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.